Just run to the arms of the one who loves her mind. Just run. If you don't shut the hell up. <laughs> That's where he going. I, mean, I mean, I don't know where he going, but he done got caught. She's a free. Get to the point. Well, I get to the point. I need you to. I don't know why y'all talking about Susie Kim. But please, y'all, don't let them up. Y'all. A lock on the ice cream. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with people? A lock on the ice cream. I was set back on my mission. I didn't follow intuition. Back then I didn't want to listen. But now I'm gunning for redemption. I want redemption, I want it, I got it, I want redemption, don't give up, no option. Um, I know I look alright right now, but catch me in person, Charlotte, North Carolina, because Neat G the host is going to be bringing me out on July 21st for y'all's Black Gay Pride. Uh-huh, and I'm going to be a whole snack. What was it? So y'all make sure you come out and come check me out at the Blue... Olive Lounge, yeah, Blue Olive Lounge. I don't know that word. I'm gonna be there, and you need to be there too. Cause if you don't, you going to jail. Period. But it's okay. I'll bail you out if you a snack. Anyway, come see me, Charlotte, North Carolina, July twenty first. I'm gonna be there, and come turn up because I'm ready to shake on somebody's man. I mean, anybody. I'm sorry. I don't wanna break up no happy home. Just apartments. <laughs> Period. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Now, we have to react to Messy Monday tonight. Um, I want y'all to know that I am Zoe will be in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, July 21st for our Charlotte Gay Pride, and I will be hosting that party. So, make sure y'all come out, man. It's gonna be lit in a kitty yurt. And, um, you don't have to just be gay. You don't have to just be gay. Um, I feel like some people thinking they have to be gay and you don't have to be gay, you know what I'm saying? Now granted, all girls came to my last party, but bro, you don't have to be gay. But, um, yeah man, we just about to get to this video. It's a lot of stuff that been going on zone. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the Royalty Experience. I will be uploading over there uh, tomorrow, actually. It's, um, it's pretty much gonna be a celebrity drama channel. And uh, just talking about celebrities, pretty much. So yeah, y'all make sure y'all tune in. Other than that, let's get to the freaking video. Let's get it. Let's get it. Will you have some tea with me? Before I start Miss Monday, I want to take the time out to give a moment of silence to a child, I guess you would call it hero, inspiration, friend, all of that, um, Cameron. He passed away at the age of 20. He was dealing with um, health issues that he was getting treated. And um, it is said that he had a seizure in his sleep. It hurts that the people who are always unproblematic, the ones who never get into any right. drama, or start any mess, things like this happen. But like I always tell people, things happen for a reason. We don't know what the reason is. We don't know who was suffering on the inside and to him, this was better. And God brought him on home and now he's happy. We don't know. So we can't question why and what was the purpose of whatever it was. Um, we just have to remember that he was an amazing actor, an awesome singer, very talented, crazy good dancer, you know? so. Just remember the good things. Remember that, go back and look at all the amazing things that he left on social media, on TV, everywhere for you all to see. And just know that he's still here and he left a great legacy for you guys um, who grew up watching him all the way up until now. And I just want to say rest in peace, Cameron, and you touched so many people. And with that being said, here is his moment of silence 
for his appreciation of his life. Now, you know, no disrespect to Cameron, uh, I did not know um, who Cameron was, and it's really, really sad um, that, you know, he passed away and he's 20 years old, you know what I'm saying, just now, just now getting started. Apparently, he's been doing this for a long time, but um, bro, it's, it's really sad. I, I, you know what, y'all? I don't want to be sad right now, you know what I'm saying? I really don't. Um, you never know what people going through. Rest in peace to him. And um, what's the best kept secret to becoming a I great singer? I cannot believe I have ads on my channel. In 30 uh, I hope Let's... that everyone that you know has Thanks. witnessed this, or people that were fans of him, excuse me, um, can get through what happened. Cause <sighs> it's just so sad, bro. It's definitely sad. I have a net in my room. It's getting on my nerves. But it's definitely sad, y'all. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kim, and for everything you've done, for all the hearts you touched, and for being an amazing person who went out there, saw a dream, did his dream, conquered his dream, and lived his dream. We love you, and we will continue to love you. Now it's time to get into that sugar honey iced tea. And y'all know I love me some of the shits, because the shit do the shit. Well, let's get into it. All right, so first on the sugar honey iced tea, we have Tony. Now, I know y'all haven't seen him on Messy Monday in a while oh. because uh, apparently he's been vacationing with his sugar daddies. <laughs> That's what I heard. He's been on the boat. He's been getting jewelry. He's been getting Cartier bracelets. He's been getting Louis Vuitton bags. He's been getting Giuseppe shoes. I don't know. Just everything. Child just sleeping for a while. I, I wish. Know, they said a girl on the planes and jets and islands and everything with these sugar daddies and don't know how to act. I broke up with his whole boyfriend, Jackson. And oh, it's so, it's so he's doing these I don't know. They say he's doing little parties and everything. Child, I don't know. The girl do whatever for some change, girl. That's what they say. I don't know. That's what you want to do if you want to sleep for a book. Sleep for a book. Girl, come here right here. But anyway, so he decided to post this, which was a picture of himself smiling, giving his condolences to Henry. Now, who do that? She didn't care the picture of me again. I mean, oh my God, the girls want to be so famous so bad. What? Wait a minute. Sean, tribute to camera with his picture. You giving your condolences to somebody you said you don't even know. And then you put a picture of yourself smiling, okay? Put the boy picture. Better yet, you don't know the boy don't put his picture. Right. You know what, at this point, I am so over this young man. This, this child right here, this man right here get on my everlasting up. You just want to be the son of attention of everything. Do anything for clout. Do anything for clout. Do anything for clout. <laughs> do anything for clout. That is not good. That's not something I'm going to do again. <laughs> but the girls got real mad. They went up on his picture. They started dragging him. He didn't know what to do. He had to take the picture down. Girl, I ain't got nothing to do with any of my business. So what I was saying is him because at this point, he done used Jackson, used James Charles, used all the other gay boys in the community. Now, that's when you're going to jail. You going to jail, bitch. Period. <laughs> Next on Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have... Tyrese. Now, Tyrese decided to come out and open his mouth. Chad, aren't you tired of being a sinner with Because last time I saw you on the camera, you was like, what more do you want from me? Man, that shit seems so funny. So fake. what more do you want from us? Tyrese, damn, Chad. So he said he's tired of the rappers rapping off a beat. Can they please get back on beat? Well, honey, we tired of you crying on the camera. We tired of you complaining about this. We tired of you talking about you want to see your daughter here. Chad. First of all, rapping on beat ain't even cool no more to be honest, y'all. It just ain't. <laughs> Nobody what cares. What are you doing? Focus that. on you. Before you get back in the limelight, you gotta cry again every other day on camera. That's what you need to stop doing. See, we just tired of people all day and everybody else is doing your business ain't even good. Tyrese, you just good. got that on everybody good side. So it's then first of all, <laughs> calm down, have a seat, and you'll be good. Okay, girl? Okay. So what we gonna send this Miss Tyrese to is some therapy because maybe at this Not point, Miss Tyrese. Tyrese. You don't know what the hell you wanna do. You don't know if you wanna bully or be bullied, girl. What's the tea? You know what? You better talk to him before I do, because I'm already feeling it. <laughs> Alright, so next question on the ice tea, we have these stupid ass ice cream liquors. Now, I don't know what the hell y'all got going Yo, on. Yo, that shit is fucking disgusting, bro. That shit is so disgusting. This dude spitting tea the other day. The fuck is wrong with y'all, bro? This nasty. Gotta stop, bitch. If you can't pay for it, don't. Okay. Damn it. Get on here 
just started this new trend where you go in. It's some little white elf. So tiny. She went and she started licking us some ice cream. That little stupid black boy that went out there and he done licked it too. She got off because she's under 20. I don't know what his old. Woman who licked blueberry ice cream discovered to be a minor won't be charged. Oh, ass gonna get They're gonna send him down to the penitentiary because how do you this African American and a male? Ha! Okay. <laughs> see you when I see you, sir. I don't know. So that's disgusting. I mean, I mean, I'm ready to go. He that got caught, she said free. <laughs> y'all, you know, Susie Q is looking out. So I don't know why y'all talk about Susie Q. But please, y'all, don't let no more ice cream. That's stupid. Okay, we gotta eat that more shit. Shut I the fuck. I don't know. So that's where he going. I mean, I, mean, I don't know where he going. He that got caught, she said free. Get to the point. When I get to the point, I need to know why y'all talk about Susie Q. But please, y'all, don't Y'all. A lock on the ice cream. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with people? A lock on the ice cream. Oh, ice cream, that's stupid, okay? We gotta eat that little shit. I know if I get me an NBA young boy buckle my lip, bitch, I'm coming for every ice cream looking out there. I'm okay. like, on site, on God, bitch. Yes. <laughs> my bag, oh, how you doing? Look, <laughs> this. <laughs> okay, so next is my bag, oh. See, we have the little mermaid. And girl, all these white folks is really feeling themselves. Curly out here going crazy, see? You know what I'm at this point. I like white people, but sometimes I just don't get y'all. So, Why y'all hating? That girl is beautiful. You don't let her act. Anyway, they created a Facebook page after her bigger name. made these racist pictures and start talking about Ariel is white, she shouldn't be black, that's gonna mess up the whole thing. At the end of the day, bitch, it's a cartoon. Right. She's not, she's not even real. She's a mermaid. Y'all done had Ariel for y'all childhood. Can some of the black kids get Ariel? How do you think it make all the little black girls feel? They scrolling down on their social media seeing people mad because a black Ariel is around. So y'all grown ass supposed to be ashamed of y'all stuff. The kids don't even damn know what the hell going on. They just look at the old Ariel and they see... Oh. Child, people are disgusting. You hear me? I don't know what the fuck is up with these people. And I, you can't just pull one out of race anymore. Like, it ain't just one race anymore. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that is a new black Ariel. Are they cousins? Are they friends? But y'all are right act. fast. When I sit here and make it an issue, the kids don't even know what the f*** is going on. Oh, y'all get on my damn nerves. Well, who gonna play the crap? Trump? He don't want okay. to play the closest to orange is red. Who gonna play Ursula? Is she a grayish purple? Oh, y'all gonna be happy if it was a black ass African because y'all call us purple, purple, black. Y'all get on my damn nerves. Cinderella. You do know she's friends with the talking crab, and I know you're not the sharpest people, but crabs can't talk. In fact, the entire thing is fiction. Make Ariel the fuck y'all want to make Ariel. Okay. She don't even know Ariel's a cartoon. She don't know what's going on. Erase her. She dead. Period. Close the case. All right. Well, that's all I got. She got an iced tea, and let's go on move on, child. It's good old man. So, first of all, yeah, we have Arlene and Amari. Now, I said I'm red to that. You know what? I'm a red to that tonight. I'm not saying they were just good friends trying to see what was going to happen and people were saying they was dating. So I don't know what it was. I don't really care because he and my I'm talking to I don't care anymore. But anyway, <laughs> uh, mud ended up going live. I don't have a girlfriend like i said i caught this girl she was talking to one of these rapper niggas and she tried to front like she wasn't talking to the nigga so i end up getting a number facetime the nigga he end up blocking my number end up being this this washed up rapper nigga she was over there talking to her dad he around with her other stuff so he was like you know at this point i'm going to deal with how we broken up he's single whoa, whoa, whoa. Girl, i don't know what's going on but at this point if he's on the record i never I'm cheated everything said was not facts just made up assumptions give him some comfort hey, come on for me i'm single too child i'm tired of this I'm just tired of everything. I'm just so tired. My baby cheated on me. And I just, you know, whatever the case is, I'm using you. Just run to yours. The one who loves a mind. Just run. If you don't shut the hell up. <laughs> to the old to keep you pushing. One person's trash is another woman's trash. I okay. don't know. When I leave my house and stuff, I take a long time. When I came back home, I came back and I seen. I 
I've seen Jill having sex with David. And then Gio posts up, you know what, he's real, he ain't never got to cheat, and then they caught him being a liar, and the girlfriend, she wants to say nothing, but she finally posts up and said it's just literally, it's a lie. So, I don't know. So then I guess this other boy, some little chocolate boy, he came up, and he decided to say what he had to say to Gio because he was trying to call Gio, but Gio had something. Gio, you tripping, like, I'm calling your phone, you're not picking up, but we're supposed to talk like boys. We boys at the end of the day, we're supposed to talk like boys, but I have to come on social media, social media, to, to, to contact you, bro. I heard you're this shit fake. I'm calling your phone, bro. So, you're like, not real fake. Jason, I'm, I'm, I'm texting you, bro, to see if you're okay, you straight, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm your boy, I'm trying to see if you're good, bro. Kind of find out. Jill and Donna had said that it was a prank that right. they did on scene. I know we kind of went too far, but look, we did not tell him it's a prank. Should we tell him? No, we shouldn't tell him. Just wait. We will tell him eventually, just not now. He's so mad. He's so mad. Man is losing it right now. I guess they recorded the video. I don't know. I don't. I haven't watched their channel. I don't know if the video is up or they're gonna post the video and show us a prank. I ain't gonna, I'm sorry, Sid, but I know you're gonna be watching this, but at least it's not real. Yeah, come on, you know I would never do something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's a prank, but still, I feel bad. So then, really, guys, if you know <laughs> the whole situation, everybody was in on this prank. Sid yeah. knew it was a prank, Gio knew it was a prank, yeah. and John knew it was a prank. Because when Gio was doing that little, when Sid was doing that um, crying video, he didn't remember like he was crying. So I was going to say, how did they know he was coming home to even do the prank on him? And then, like, how is everybody just so cool? Like, if I saw my boyfriend was really upset, why am I gonna drag this out? I'm like, baby, it was a prank. Fuck that bullshit. Period. So, I really think all this is a lie. I didn't even off in on it. And it, was, it is what it is. At the end of the day, y'all is crazy. Y'all, yeah, that shit was fake. They all know it was fake. And I ain't got time for it. So they all was in on her. Well, if it ain't about me, Geo, Sid, and Diamond are phony. Next case. Next case. Okay, we have Geo Cone versus. Well, really, they're not even versing each other. It's about the parents. So, uh, we talked about her a long time ago. It's been said that Mona is really 13, okay? And she going around saying she's 15. So, kind of find out, she dated a boy. The boy parents found out that she's not really 15, that she is 13, and her son is 17. And so, the mama is upset. She done posted on his Instagram and took his phone. This is Mikey's mom, Katie. After some sensitive information was brought to my attention about Danielle, we as parents no longer support Danielle and Mikey's relationship. Because Mikey is still a minor, we have taken away his social media. He will have a return as soon as we sort... <laughs> sort, though. Sort. <laughs> That's what messed me up. Sort those things out. <laughs> Let's say sort some things out. This that thing had me stop, didn't it? Just... <laughs> I just want to clear something up. Um, I am aware that Mikey took my name out of his bio and deleted our pictures. Um, Mikey does not have access to his account. His mom is running his account and took his account from him. So that is not him. That is his mom. And I'm sorry for the communication. Um, but we are still together and still happy. Um, that's not him. So what you see on his Instagram, don't trust it because he doesn't have access to anyone with social media. And so what was said is Mikey apparently ran away from home. But what then Gavin did is saying that the mama kicked him out. And y'all know when, when y'all young, your mama said, you can get out my house if you want to buy by my rules. Right. That's not kicking you out. That's just letting you know you can go if you can't follow my rules. Because he always wanted to be with Danielle. Because Danielle mama let her, apparently let her do whatever she wanted to do. That's wherever she wanted to date and go wherever she wanted to go. And why not want to be over there if you a child? You can just run the streets and do what you want to do and grow up fast when you have a parent who's actually being a parent. Now, I ain't saying the girl mama ain't being a parent, but I'm talking about being a strict parent who want their best for their child. I ain't saying hold on to this one. Fuck it, I don't know. But okay. Take it you take. <laughs> would have been way more concerned about you guys kicking him out. You guys didn't even care about him. You kicked him out to the street because he was tired of you guys taking his money. So don't come at me because you're mad because everyone knows the truth about you, Katie and Delvin. And... Are they just mad because they're getting evicted because their son can't pay their rent anymore? I'm done with them. These grown adults coming at me because their son wants to be a man. Yeah. And then I'm sorry, I don't care if you're my girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. We ain't been talking about all that. Now, <laughs> if you want to say what you want to say about me, let her say it. Okay. 
13, 15, whatever. You make me pop off like that. And for him to let this girl disrespect his mom like that on social media is crazy. I don't care if you manage your mom like nah. So then after that, it kept going. Everybody kept getting mad. And the mama, mama and the daddy and the mama come out and tell her real age. So then they yell, come out and say it. No wonder the kid wants to get emancipated. And when you're going to threaten your kid and say I'm going to punch the F out of you, too. I would leave too. So, Shit, I don't like trust it. anything these parents say because they're violent. They are disgusting. They don't even deserve to have kids. They're, they damn. Really, they treat their kids like they are literally a walking bank. And, a, and their investments. Katie literally said, they're an investment. We invested in them, so they're going to make our money back. Tea time, it's not tea, but I'm not going to have them post stuff about me when they should be going to jail for the things that they do. Oh, child, I don't know. Damn. So they were looking for the sun, whatever the case may be. And while they were looking for the sun, people started digging up some old stuff because the mama told the child, hey, it's mine just back in the day. Let me look at my notes. Back in the day, <laughs> they had did a Mrs. Hill Jr. pre pageant, and they said that she was uh, 2014. That's when seven, eight, nine years old. People said she was nine in 2014, and the mama had posted up in the video as well in 2012 saying she was six. If you do the math, that ain't mama 13. So what, the mom, so what the boy Mike and mama is mad about, she mad because she said that this boy, that if her son Mikey is getting persuaded by Danielle, apparently she wants him to get emancipated so he can come over and just live with her and do what he want to do because when you emancipate yourself, you can do what you want. But how, how, how she doing it at 13? Life is just different these days. Well, shit, Bad Batty been doing it up since she was about 12. <laughs> she... She's still like 15 and rich as fuck now. She rich as hell now. But what the law says is that'll make you grown. So if that makes him now grown, if he gets emancipated, you date the girl who's 13 and that's gonna now make you 18 and that's just not right. That's what your mom's kidding. Mom says she's special and not having you. So that's what his mom was worried about. His mom was just like, look, I don't want my son getting arrested. Oh, that's what she said in her little tweet. She don't want her son getting arrested over no man. I don't know. This is, ooh, white folks drop up. <laughs> I've been exhausted after I tell y'all. Okay. I've been through after I tell y'all from my black folks. It's like, oh, she cuts out, cuts out, and so white folks is this, 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 this. I need water, fuck the tea. And Casey had the mom, Mikey Mama was looking for him. The, and then she was calling Danielle's mom. Danielle's mama saying she don't know where the son is. And I don't know where the kids are. The kids done ran away. Couldn't find out. The mama didn't find out where her son is. Child, the son is in the hotel that Danielle's mama paid for. Her. What in the fuck? Where are you going? <laughs> At this point. I don't get it. <laughs> Lock the mama off. Please just go to the next. Yeah, mama. I'm about to skip it. <laughs> This is his group in the MT. Next game. Next one, okay? We have Good Gang versus Isha and Kid. I know y'all remember a while, a couple of months, or maybe a month back, um, the boy Kenny passed away. And this is his group in the end. They back at it again. So Good Gang and Fendi have posted this on social media. And so when. Oh my God, I got Wild Fendi, please break my phone. I said, oh, I can't believe it. You post. I'm praying for you. I never thought I would lose a friend. People are going to think that he died. Oh my God. 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 They said that a kid had got jumped after everybody was going crazy. But when you post this, it makes people think that he got killed. He got shot. So the fans are saying that he got killed. He got shot. Because if he this, some people were also saying that Fendi said it on live. I don't know. I wasn't in the live, so I can't say. But why would you joke like this if your friend just passed away? So everybody's thinking it was real. Come to find out, y'all. After everybody go crazy, you should go live. She mad. Where's that up? Hello? Hello? Who is this? This is Fendi. Okay, so like, what's up with Gutter? Like, bitch, what's he? He's in the hospital. I'm saying, like, what what happened to him? What happened, bitch? Cause it's too many. He got stabbed, got shot, bitch. What's happened to him? 
We was we was walk we was walking from the store. We was getting some backwoods, and he got jumped. Who the fuck jumped him? Wait, what? It was how he get jumped, and how it was a week. Like everything, like you can see everything on Trey Page. It's witnesses on Trey Page. Everything, like she did like, not be like, shot. Like, Okay, you been with him? Who the fuck? Like, who the fuck he was beefing with? Like, I don't really know what you like. Who is he was, like? Me, it was just they cut out and say it was a friend. No, you don't play like that, chat baby. You don't play like that. So then now Gutter goes by, he start pussing, and then Gutter K got shot. So when y'all say that Gutter K got shot, the fans are gonna go with y'all saying that Gutter K got shot because y'all have a name behind y'all. Of course they're gonna go with what y'all said. No, it wasn't right for me to do that. It was a joke. It was a prank. It wasn't supposed to go as far. The prank was Gutter K got jumped. I'm not in my uh in my with my hair and stuff, but Gutter K got jumped for we having girl clothes on at the store by some grown men. That was the prank that I got jumped at the uh the corner store. So all that I want to be like this person, I want to be like the next person, baby. I could never this at the end of the day. So stupid. I don't sit around people just for clout. I don't do none of that because I have my own mother clout. And I can sit on my, like, don't play with me. Don't play with me. A good prank is a, right. They mad because they they believed it. They believed the prank. Believed it, they would, nobody would have kept talking about it. Apparently the prank was good. And I'm just like, you know what, look. At this point, y'all just drop it. Well, all y'all just friends, one good, and each just friends, one of all them just like together, one they just all bubbling together, one they just all going to the funeral together. One of them just like together, one of them just like together. But it was just together. <laughs> so I don't know. So then they like all split up, and girl, here we go again. Bring up, bitch. Ocean, Miss the Active. If he at your motherfucking house, bitch, tell that hoe. What the f is up? And bitch, that's on him. God, bitch, what up? Bitch, I swear to God, can't trade me in. Can't trade me, I can't trade beyond. I, gotta K, the only gotta K, bitch, underscore ho. I'm gonna dog you, bitch. And that's on period. And that's all I got to my say. So bitch, when you see me, ho, just know it's motherfucking up. And bitch, that's on your mind. Press, 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 press. Queen don't need no press. Girl, they need up. Why did y'all go to the boys' birthday party anyway? I guess it was still the birthday party. Y'all know y'all just talk about each other. Why go to the birthday party? Y'all always doing that mess. Going somewhere where you don't need to be. I'm so over that. Time y'all going somewhere where you don't need to go. What the fuck? So they don't really talk. Wait a minute, go ahead, fight. At this point. The kids ain't learned that lesson. They learned it. They learned it. They learned that lesson. It's just a whole lot of, whole lot of, it's a whole lot of mess. Mess on mess on mess on mess. But, if it ain't about me, okay. let's kick it. All right. It's case. Well, that's all I got for this Monday. Um, it's Child, my camera about to die. Listen, I have no words. Please stop the goddamn uh, violence and all this fighting and lame shit. You ain't gonna do nothing but end up dead. I mean, why don't y'all just get a YouTube boxing series going on? Damn. Goodbye. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world. And that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I got to make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I got to ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you got to close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.